by quick shooting from the guards. And so I think it's good to try to establish that low block presence early. Minnesota just dominant inside in game one. 52 to 30 in terms of points in the paint and 40 to 28 on the glass. Simone Augustus to stop and pop. And it's Izzy Castro Marquez, who was starting in her absence, also a player from Brazil. Talked to Marinelle Metters about that today. She said, look, Izzy's not happy at all, but no player would be if they're any good, and she'll be ready to play. No player's ever happy when they're told they're no longer starting, will be coming off the bench. Nice dish down low. Getting things in transition. Yeah, Castro Marquez, ninth year player out of Brazil, averaging 14 points per game during the playoffs and 11 of 20 from beyond the arc. Remember, she had 30 in game two, the Eastern Conference Finals. McCautry going right. Yes, because post players simply cannot get in a stance and defend players that quick outside. Great work on the glass. Sancho Little, who re Second. assistant, wired for sound tonight is Cheryl Reeve. Fifth trip to the WNBA Finals. Quick pull up more. That's a three pointer. Second foul. So two quick fouls on her here in the first. We'll see what Cheryl Reeve does. McCautry pulls up over Augustus. That's a great matchup to watch all night. Augustus is a good defender. She's got the size and the length, or as best as anybody does, to try to stay with McCautry. Around the screen goes Augustus to Brunson, who had the big effort in game one. Uh, still That's enough? Up? Yeah. Think so? That would be my uh, I, I, know, I would use that if I were her. You're right. Candace Wiggins, great shooter from Stanford in her fourth year, comes in for Maya Moore. Augustus has another one. Minnesota is a better balanced offensive team. They do have more weapons than Atlanta. High low. Oh, that's a nice play. Little inbounds. Making the extra pass. First time in the playoffs since 2004. Only the third time overall for the Minnesota Lynx. They've won four straight now in the playoffs and four straight at home. Harding the pull up. Nice jumper. And what you're of their shoot around today just working on that play right there working on the switch and the guard being physical with the big and trying to prevent her from getting into the lane castro marquez been quiet so far not anymore is he one point lead for the dream and one thing that minnesota has done effectively is make atlanta play in the half court their turnovers as you see lindsey harding just doing well in game one but when minnesota's had turnovers they've been ones that haven't allowed atlanta to run Fifth year player out of the Duke gives him a three point lead. Whalen trying to answer. Allison Bales just came in and got beaten badly. Washington in the free agent signing last year. One point lead for the Lynx. Augustus on the quadrant. Angel rises high. That's a. Bales not coming out to challenge. McWilliams Franklin the takeaway. Here comes McCautry. On the run out to the left hand, she's got 12. Dream. And Harding content to walk it up. <laughs> Lindsay stops and hits. Make sure that everybody stays fresh throughout the, the three extra quarters that we've got coming up. But I think if everybody continues to play like they are, we're going to be in good shape. Coach, thank you. All right, Heather, and numbers-wise, Rebecca, as a team, it's helped them inside, too. Atlanta has doubled off Minnesota in rebounds. and Pain is key because that's where Minnesota was dominant in game one. 52 points in the paint, only 30 for Atlanta. There's the defense of that screen, and they take it away. Paris with the steal. Leads to Harding. Franklin could not close out as quickly as she'd like because she's playing with two fouls. She needs to be careful not to pick up that third and be next to Maya Moore on the bench. And this Wiggins handling the point now as they put Waylon off the ball, which they like to do offensively. She's guarded by Harding to play the high low. To Sosa not in there at the moment. Castro Marquez taken away. Here comes Wright. And Whalen open in the corner. Got the offense. Sancho a little way off. Could be now as Augustus brings it up. And this might be the one that the crowd was waiting for. And Wright's going to slow it down. for the next 
six minutes and 12 seconds. And a run led by Simone Augustus, who now has 11 in the game. 14-4 run in the last, oh, almost three minutes now. I'm guessing Angel McCarthy's assignment was to get the ball and score. Yeah. Well, she does. You know, she does that pretty well. She does. Minnesota does. Both teams like to get up and down the floor, but if this is going to stay a half-court game, I think eventually that plays into the favor of Minnesota. And Minnesota had the edge in game one by eight points. McCautry. And those are shots Rebecca Brunson was making all game long in game one. Not this time for McCautry. Price the rebound, though. Gives him a fresh 24. And Angel missing for the first time. She's had the last five for the dream. The Sosa, second half of game one, 19 to now, that's 46 in three plus quarters. But is it good for Atlanta to rely on her so much? And I take you to Kobe Bryant always talks about distributing the basketball early in games, get other people involved, and then taking over when the game's on the line. A great start, five of seven from the floor tonight. You don't know the answer to that until Angel starts missing. And when she does, then what happens? Does she find other ways to get players involved? Big difference with the size offensively tonight for Atlanta. Look to Brunson as the crowd reacts, but Rebecca misses. Inside out, Bales can shoot the three. She do that and just don't rely on the one-on-one -on -one breakdown ability of their perimeter players. Simone Augustus, difficult start in the opener. She was one for seven to start the game. Not tonight, though. Five of seven from the floor. Hanging in the air bucket for Simone Augustus. Simone Augustus is the one player on the Minnesota team who has the green light to go one-on-one -on -one at any point. So so. McWilliams, frankly, they haven't come out to challenge her at all with that shot. And until she makes it, they will not come out to challenge her. Uh-oh. Seven of eight from the floor, 21 in the game for Angel McCautry. A 13-4 Atlanta run. Whalen controls. Right. Minnesota has played for the entire second quarter, much of the first without Maya Moore. Picked up three quick fouls. And they trail by eight. Augustus says, I don't know. It's an early bucket. That is a long, high three. That's why I like her coming off the bench, because you want a little bit of an offensive punch off the bench, and she brings that to Atlanta. Got eight. Augusta. Fifty-five points in the first half of the three. Not far behind the links. Here comes Brunson for the screen. Simone over to Rebecca. McWilliams, frankly, five-point lead, shot clock off, final possession, McCautry! Tonight, and, and Minnesota really hasn't attacked her and, and made her decide whether or not she's going to let up and, and not get those fouls. Backdoor cut, good look, Whalen reverses off the glass. The Dream has done one thing very well, too. They've taken this crowd out of it to this point. Have not been a major factor. Whalen. Pick and roll. It looks that easy. It is. This time we've seen Angel McCarthy save a layup by coming from the backside and tipping the ball away. Maya Moore, 3 for 12 in the series to this point. Hardy. Oh, using her body well. A little step back. As much as 12 in the first half, but even in the third. And the teams were tied, 62 all going to the fourth. So it was a late run by Minnesota that got him a win in game one. All alone, the bucket. And great look by McCarthy. You have to respect. You know that she's going to be looking to create her own offense. Nice dish. Brunson looking to make a move. And does inside over Allison. McCarthy with 27 in the game. 
And Simone Augustus has yet to score here in the second half. 19 in the first. There's their first bucket, first points of the third quarter. I said it only holds about 17, so let's move it. Play in the football stadium. Whalen. Somehow, some way, he finds a way. No, they've been all over it, and I think that was a focal point from game one. One on one, Augustus trying to stay with McCautry. Just says, you know what? I can't get around. Hey there. Good cut from Wiggins. No. Fast break working for the dream. Castro Marquez off the dish from Lindsey Harding. And, and what they've done in game two that they didn't do in game one is miss layups. And every time they've missed the layup, Atlanta's been able to run the other way. 10-4 run by the dream. Moore trying to answer the block, the bucket. The that rebound in. Here's Wiggins. Game one was tied up 62 all. Heading to the fourth quarter. And a big links run. 13-0 run to start the fourth is what helped put it away. I wonder if they have another one in them. Harris. Yes! Amber Harris! Yeah, it's a thought. <laughs> Three now on Angel. Waylon, just three of eight in the game. He's got four assists and eight points. Adair wanted it. Augustus keeps it and draws another foul this time on Price and Star at Minnesota. And she's just tied the game up at 74. 20 to 19, the last time the Lynx led. De Sosa. Did she get away with a walk? I didn't. Always telling what the offensive set is coming out of a timeout. Using the bigs, Little steps back after the. Still a lot of time left in this game. They're I mean, going possession to possession right now as if it's two minutes and under. Harris! Shots for your perimeter players. He's the second. Here comes Harden. McCautry's been very quiet in the last six, seven minutes. Little may have got control. So it's a one-point lead for Minnesota. As we approach the five-and-a-half-minute mark, they try to speed out to a two-game four games. Augustus matched up one-on-one -on -one with McCautry. The switch, he goes by Brunson. Great look to Little. The when I had that happen. If you go by someone, where must the player be? Behind you. Behind you. And that's what happens. Very again with Becca Lobo, Heather Cox with you here. Fourth quarter of game number two. Atlanta with that two-point lead, making the steal one on the road. Moore. Justice is holding her ground. That is the right no call by the official. Chance to take the lead now. Harding wanted to push by Whalen, doesn't get it. Augustus, career playoff high. Sub 15 footer, it's Erica DeSouza. 7 0 run by the Lynx. We may try to work some clock. Whalen takes the look. Five on the shot clock. One on one with Harding. Off balance. Off the glass. By Seattle. And it's hard to win on the road. And they've been in both of these ball games until the end of the fourth quarter. That has got to be one encouraging thing they take home with them. Harding the deuce. And that might do it there. Moore looking for somebody. And crowd on their feet here in Minneapolis. Easy lay in for A there. And that will do it. 101 on the board for the Lynx. Harding. I believe it is. Touched the basketball after it went through. 5.9 left. Zipped out. Castro Marquez. That's a three. 